Good morning. Today in science, you will be talking about the life cycle of a ladybug. But before you do, I thought I would read this story about the life of a ladybug. The story is called Ladybugs. It's written by Mia Posada, and it is read to you with permission by Scholastic and the author. Little round beetles with red coats and black spots crawl through gardens and trees and on flowers and pots. They are ladybugs. A crawling ladybug tickles your arm, but this little insect will cause you no harm. They are busy searching for food to eat. Tiny green insects called aphids taste sweet. Now imagine the size of a ladybug whenever you're looking at these aphids and how tiny aphids are. A ladybug may flee in fear from a hungry bird landing near, but eating a ladybug is a waste. To birds, they have a terrible taste. When a female ladybug has eggs to be laid, she finds a safe place on a leaf in the shade. In five days, the yellow lady, the yellow eggs will turn white. The hatching day is now within sight. Tiny creatures climb out from the creamy white egg. They have hairy gray bodies and long skinny legs. They are called larvae. Hungry larvae search for food right away. They can eat 100 aphids a day. Hmm. Very similar to the caterpillars when they hatch out. A larva skin cannot stretch, and since this is so, it must shed its old skin in order to grow. Its skin splits apart, the larva wiggles free, its new largest, larger skin fits more comfortably. Take a look at that. It goes through an, an additional process. <clears throat> when a ladybug larva is almost full grown, it attaches itself to a plant or a stone. It molts one last time, the skin it outgrew. When it emerges, it has become something new. It is a pupa. The pupa is covered by a tough orange skin. It hides the changes taking place within. Its warm, warm worm-like bodies is rounding out. Its coat becomes smooth. Tiny wings sprout. This would be similar to the chrysalis stage. In five days, the pupa's shell starts to crack. A beetle crawls out with no spots on its back. Some black spots come into sight. The yellow coat turns to red, fiery, and bright. The new ladybug spread it, spreads its wings out to dry. A few hours pass, then it's able to fly. Its spotted wing covers move off to the sides. It beats its wings, and away it glides. The new ladybug with red coats and black spots crawl through gardens and trees and on flowers and pots. Um, there are some different information about ladybugs, some different facts. I'm not going to read you those, but take a look at the, the different ladybugs, the way they look, the shells. I always find this one the most fascinating. It almost looks blue. And the last thing is a diagram of a ladybug. Um, and before I go, I just want you to listen to the front, the first page of the story. Um, little round beetles with red coats and black spots crawl through gardens and trees on flowers and pots. Now look at this page, the last page. The new ladybugs with red coats and black spots crawl through gardens and trees and on flowers and pots. I want you to think about why the book starts and ends very similar. Now today you're going to be working on the life cycle of a ladybug. So go ahead and read the passage and fill out the, 
or answer the questions. Have a great day.